Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to talk about getting too obsessed when you like someone. A lot of us are wearing the rose colored glasses when we get into a situationship with someone nowadays. So I just want to tell you the one way to protect yourself and how to keep this momentum from going down a rabbit hole. Whenever you come around, I'm 30 Hey guys, I'm Angela Jean, the official breakup coach, teaching you how to break up with the outdated version of yourself and step into the new you and how to survive and thrive in the difficult dating climate that we are living in. What I have observed is that social media has made this world, this visual sparkly fantasy, right? This fantasy of money and jets and couples that look amazing together and they're so happy and they never fight and everything is so perfect, right? So we have this vision in our mind of this fairy tale bullshit that supposedly exists. Real relationships have arguments. Real relationships are not perfect all the time. And anytime you see any of these couples off Instagram and in real life, you can see reality versus social media. Another thing that social media has caused a problem with, which I have observed and I am sharp as a knife now, and I encourage you guys to start sharpening your sword when it comes to this, because of the fact that men and women, it's men and women, but my content is geared towards women, because of the fact that men are dealing with all these visual online avatars, thousands of beautiful girls with these perfect lives and these perfect bodies, perfect skin, perfect hair, whatever, everybody has gotten so good with their words because so much communication goes on online, right? How often do majority of these people ever even meet up? I have guys that have been texting me for two years to meet up. And it never happens. It's almost like people are addicted to making plans that they know are never gonna happen. It's literally like we're already living in this metaverse of fakeness. And so there's a handful of fellas that I've been dealing with, one in particular, that has been texting me for five months. And this guy's words are so good. He is such a salesman of himself, such a salesman of the fantasy, such a salesman of the love, such a salesman of what any girl would want to hear. You know what I mean? So you have to be really, really careful when it comes to falling in love with someone's words. And this is oftentimes why you get so obsessed with them because you find yourself saying, well, they said this, well, they said this. So many of my girlfriends that have had a falling out with a situationship are hooked on the fact that he said this. He said, where have you been my whole life? He said, oh, I can't wait to make a life with you. He said, if you were to date me, you're all I would need. We can live anywhere we want. We're gonna do this. So many guys' mouths are so full of words and that's why you have to be very careful and pay attention to their actions. Do not get obsessed with someone because you are in love with the fairy tale life that they are painting because they will bait you in with their words and they know that that's all they have to do is continue to dangle the carrot and you're going to keep taking the bait. The problem with this is you get obsessed with the fantasy and this person because your point of attraction to make that fantasy a reality. So you start giving and you start doing and this person will keep taking and keep orchestrating you like a puppet. So you have to be so careful, you guys. Only give at the level that they give. Ignore the words. Pretend like there is duct tape over their mouth. When you spend time with them, pay attention to how they're treating you because takers will continue to take. And if you're a girl that wants to be in love, you will continue to give. And the problem with this is when you keep giving, you're draining yourself, you're lowering your self-worth, you're lowering your self-esteem, you're taking nicks and blows because it's not reciprocated. So they're literally sucking the life force out of you based on words. This one person that I was dealing with for five months, I finally decided, <laughs> I'm like, okay, Romeo, let's see what you got. And I shut down all of my other options and gave him my attention for a heartbeat of a second. It was interesting to see how the actions when this person was in front of me had nothing to do with the romantic, kind person that was in my 
phone. And this is the thing, you guys, I don't want you not to explore people. Explore everybody and give them the benefit of the doubt and go in hoping for the best, obviously. But the minute they show you who they are and their real person does not align with their avatar bullshit, you guys have got to abort ship. Do not waste your time trying to paint them into the fantasy that they're promising you. We are living in fantasy land with social media. Everybody is living their best fake life. Any girl that wants to believe might continue to hang out with this fella based on all his beautiful words, based on the sales pitch of what he's promising you and what he's painting into your mind. All right, guys, hopefully this was helpful. I'm just trying to teach you to sharpen your sword so that you have the best dating experience possible. Don't pay attention to what the avatar man is telling you online. Pay attention to the actual real person that is standing in front of you and how he is treating you. If the actions and the words do not align. You need to abort ship so that you don't waste your time and so that you can find someone that is solid, someone that does follow through and a man that is a man of his words. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.